Welcome back to Grandpa's Time. Hey, grandkids. Well, I just finished up some yard work for the evening, and I thought I would talk about something that happened last week. I took five of you grandkids on a camping trip, and just before we left, I've got a pop-up camper, and I noticed that one of the tires' air looked a little low. So I checked it, and it was a little low. I added some air to it, and we were fine. Now, sometimes that could mean that you've got a puncture in your tire and you've got a slow leak and it's going to happen again. It didn't happen this time. I don't know why it was low, maybe just from sitting. I didn't think about doing a video at the time, but now I'm wishing I had. So I'm going to just show you on our car. Our car actually has a tire pressure monitoring system, so you don't It'll tell you when your air starts getting low on your tire. So you don't have to look at it and see, but some of the older cars, most most older cars, I don't know, maybe when you see this, an older car will be my car, I guess. But like my old my truck, my current truck, it, it doesn't have that in it. And so I need to know what the tire pressure is supposed to be. And on the side of the tire, which I'll show you here, it shows you the maximum tire pressure per square inch, but the recommended tire pressure is 34 PSI. So we take a look here and check these tires and see how it looks. If your tire just was obviously low, you can go to most gas stations, not all of them have them, but most gas stations have that, have an air, have an air station where you can get air. And when you get air, you put the hose onto your car and it actually, the tire pressure gauge is actually on the air hose and so it'll tell you this is what my tire pressure gauge does too but it's manual and it's kind of a cheapy made in China but it'll pop out to wherever it is and so you can you add your four quarters or however they do it when you watch this video but right now it's usually a dollar for air which it used to be free everywhere we went and now they charge a dollar most places so you get your air, and it, you'll hear the machine run, and you put the hose in, and it fills up your tire to wherever your desired pressure is, and then you stop. Just don't go past the maximum, because you don't want it, your tire to explode. Now, if it happens again, you've got a puncture, okay? And there's a lot of used tire places where you can go and get something for 25 bucks or whatever I don't know whatever they're charging nowadays but <clears throat> in a pinch you can use this and it's got a hose on it and you just follow the directions exactly how the directions say and then you add this foam into your tire and then if you still need to you can add some more some air to it and then you can drive around for a little while I've driven around for longer than I should have with this before because it, it seems to work fairly well unless it's a really big puncture. But you basically you want to, you don't want to fool around and end up broken down on the side of the road. Get your tire fixed. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.